Welcome to our Space News Update. In this episode, NASA astronauts Tracy Caldwell Dyson and Mike Barrett performed a spacewalk on June 24th to collect microbe samples and retrieve a faulty communications. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams are currently stranded on the ISS due to multiple issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. The intuitive machines lander Odysseus captured Earth's radio waves from the moon. NASA continues to advance Mars research with new methods for sample return missions. On June 24, 2024, NASA astronauts Tracy Caldwell Dyson and Mike Barrett ventured outside the International Space Station ISS, on a crucial spacewalk. Their mission? To gather microbe samples from the station's exterior and replace a defective communications device. This spacewalk, though initially planned for earlier in the month, faced a reschedule due to a spacesuit issue, but eventually went ahead as planned. The operation's significance extends beyond routine maintenance. By studying microbes that survive the harsh conditions of space, scientists aim to better understand microbial resilience and adaptation. This research is particularly pertinent for future interplanetary missions, including those to Mars, as it helps assess the potential for accidental microbial transfers between Earth and other celestial bodies. The replacement of the communications hardware, meanwhile, is vital for ensuring the ISS remains a hub for international space communication and research. Together, these tasks highlight the ongoing importance of spacewalks in maintaining and advancing our capabilities in space exploration. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams are currently facing an extended stay aboard the International Space Station ISS, due to multiple technical challenges with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, which has experienced helium leaks and thruster failures. Originally scheduled to return on June 13th, their mission has now been delayed several times, with the latest expected return set for no sooner than July 2nd. The Starliner encountered issues during its mission, including five helium leaks in the spacecraft's thruster system and failures in the reaction control system thrusters. These issues have necessitated extensive troubleshooting and assessments by NASA and Boeing engineers to ensure the safety and functionality of the spacecraft. The repeated delays and technical difficulties have underscored the challenges of space missions and the importance of ensuring spacecraft reliability, especially as part of NASA's commercial crew program, which aims to facilitate US-led crewed space flights. The intuitive machine's Odysseus lander, part of the NASA Commercial Lunar Payload Services CLPS program, achieved a significant milestone by capturing Earth's radio waves from the moon. This experiment marks a pivotal moment in lunar and radio astronomy, showcasing the lander's ability to record a wide array of radio emissions from near the moon and deep space. This mission provided a unique perspective by viewing Earth as if it were an exoplanet. This analogy helps scientists ponder how radio emissions from Earth might appear to an extraterrestrial civilization, potentially aiding in the search for intelligent life beyond our solar system. The data collected are more comprehensive than previous experiments of this nature, offering new insights into how radio waves from human technologies like cell phones and broadcast towers could be perceived from space. Looking ahead, the success of the Rolls' experiment has set the stage for further investigations. NASA has approved additional missions under the CLPS program, including a second Rolls' experiment and the Lunar Surface Electromagnetics Experiment Night, Lucy Night both scheduled for 2026. These missions will focus on the far side of the Moon, a region shielded from Earth's radio emissions, providing an ideal environment to study ancient radio waves from the universe's early epochs known as the Dark Ages. NASA is making significant strides in Mars research through its Mars Sample Return MSR, initiative, focusing on bringing Mars samples back to Earth for detailed analysis. This ambitious multi-mission campaign, in collaboration with the European Space Agency ESA, aims to collect and analyze samples from the Martian surface to deepen our understanding of Mars's geological history and potential for past life. The MSR missions include the development of innovative technologies for safely retrieving and transporting these samples back to Earth. In parallel, 
NASA is leveraging open science methods to enhance the mapping of Mars. This approach promotes wider access to Mars data, enabling scientists around the world to contribute to and benefit from the findings, which improves our understanding of Mars's surface and geological characteristics. This initiative not only supports scientific discovery, but also prepares for future human exploration of Mars by providing detailed terrain and mineral maps. These efforts are part of NASA's broader strategy to use Mars missions to answer fundamental questions about the feasibility of life on other planets and the history of the solar system. Through missions like these, NASA continues to push the boundaries of space exploration and scientific research. Thanks for tuning in to our space news update. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future space news and updates. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited about in the world of space exploration. Stay curious and we'll see you next time.